Welcome to Allcare Introduction to Liner Hanger Systems. In this animation you will look at a typical liner hanger installation in detail. A liner is a casing string that does not extend to the top of the well bore. Liner hanger is anchored as the bottom of the previous casing string to hang liners in the open hole. The running string consists of equipment that allows the liner to be run and hold on drill pipe. Bottom of the liner hanger system consists of reamer shoe with double valve. It is used to reaming the open hole. Next landing collar with integrated ball catcher. Landing collar has got a latch bushing having an internal profile to land a liner wiper plug and a ball catcher, which catches the ball after the ball seat is sheared. Next, well care liner wiper plug that allows for speedy drill out, meanwhile it helps in improve cement quality through wiping and displacing the cement. Next, rotating ball seat sub, it provide full bore clearance after ball seat shears. It's designed that ensures that the ball seat is completely tripped and retained in full bore open position. Swab cup packer, it is used to create pressure chamber between pack off bushing and swab cup element during liner hanger setting. Swab cup element seals and hold the pressure against the liner ID. Now, rotating hydraulic set liner hanger with integrated packer is a unique and compact design. It provides high load capacity and more bypass area. Equipped with durable field proven tapered roller bearing assembly, our rotating hydraulic liner hanger allows rotation of liner after hanger installation. Next HRTE, liner running tool connects to the liner hanger by HRTE profile in the setting color and it provide means to carry the liner down hole. Next packer setting tool, equipped with spring loaded setting dogs, the packer setting tool allows to apply set down weight to the liner top packer. Liner hanger assembly is made up to the liner and together they are run to the desired depth on drill pipe. Then casing crew run the desired length of liner to cover up all open hole. The entire string can be rotated at 10 to 15 revolutions per minute during running in. Liner hanger assembly is now ready to be picked up. We are now ready to set our rotating liner hanger with integrated packer. A setting ball is dropped from surface to provide a means to apply activation pressure. The ball is circulated down to shoe track where it lands on rotating ball seat sub. Pressure can now be applied from surface. At a predetermined pressure, shear pins in liner hanger shear and the setting sleeve moves upward, meanwhile causing slips to bite into the host casing. The liner hanger engineer will verify the hanger setting by slacking off the liner weight and visually checking for any downward movement. Now pressure is increased from surface, the hanger setting pressure causing the shear pins in the HRTE setting tools to shear which in turn forces the collar to retract away from the HRTE profile in the setting collar. The running string is picked up to confirm that the liner weight has been reduced from the string weight. The HRTE setting tool is lowered to prepare for cementing operation. Next, rotating ball seat sub, it provide full bore clearance after ball seat shears. 
It's designed that ensures that the ball seat is completely trip and retained in full bore open position. The liner can now be cemented. While keeping the running a string and compression, cement is pumped down the drill pipe into the liner. After the proper amount of cement has been displaced the pump down plug is released from surface by a rotating valve in the cementing head. It will separate the cement from the displacement fluid and wipe inside of the drill pipe. Retrievable pack off bushing, forces the cement down by keeping a pressure tight seal on line top, towards the liner shoe and into the annulus between the liner and open hole. The pump down plug will latch into the liner wiper plug, indicated by a pressure increase subsequent to which the two plugs as one combination moves down and clean the liner ID. Together they create a barrier between the displacement fluid and cement, wiping the liner clean and keeping the cement from being contaminated. Ensuing good quality around the liner shoe flow which integrated and reamer shoe will prevent cement from you tubing back inside the liner. It is time to set packer. The running string is picked up until the rotating packer's setting dog sub is out of the liner top. A set down force is applied, hold down slips are pushed up a cone until they bite into the host casing and its packing element swab up. The running string can pulled up until pack of seal integrity is lost. This allows circulation to be established at the liner top to flush excess cement out of the hole. This well can now be drilled ahead or the liner can be tied back to surface if necessary. The clean out blade mill with the top dress mill will be lowered into the well bore with circulation to clean out the hone ID of tie back receptacle and chamfered top of TBR. Rotation should not be more than 10 revolutions per minute while cleaning. Here we have high pressure high temperatures EX tie back seal nipple packer of rugged seal element design, resists swab off at high circulation rates. Moreover, it also allows liner to be run in hole much faster. Here the extended tie back receptacle is made up with packer. The setting collar connected to the tie-back seal nipple packer has an inbuilt retrievable pack-off bushing profile, and a running tool profile to connect the RHRT running tool. Tie-back seal nipple packer is run into the hole with our HRT running tool until the seal nipple towards its bottom, sits in the defined position over the existing tie-back receptacle. To set the packer, set down force is applied, so that the bonded packing element pushed upon the supported cone to pack off the annulus, maintain the seal integrity while the unique barrel slip moves above the cones to bite into the host casing. Now increase slack off weight again to shear the pins of our HRT setting tool. Around 15 to 20 right hand rotations are required to be given to release the nut of the setting tool. To confirm the release of setting tool string is picked up, and check for the loss of weight and to work can also be seen to ensure that the tool is released. Next running string is pulled out of the hole.
Thai back seal nipple with hydraulic anchor is an integrated hydraulic set double grip retrievable anchor, designed to anchor the tubing string and the parent. The tie back seal assembly comprises of three stacks of seals to maintain the pressure integrity between the completion tubing or casing string to annulus. Once set, the anchor and tubing are securely locked in place. In the third trip, hydraulic tie back seal nipple with hydraulic anchor, tubing retrievable safety valve, and tubing string is run into the well bar. Space out will be carried out prior to set the tubing hanger accurately. To set the hydraulic tie back seal nipple with anchor, string ID need to be plugged using blanking plug. In order to plug the string ID, a lock mandrel is conveyed through slick line and installed in the nipple profile. Prong is then installed in the lock mandrel to plug the ID of the completion string so as to build the pressure to set the hydraulic tie back seal nipple with anchor. Now apply hydraulic pressure to shear off brass screws activating the hydraulic anchor. TRSV is run as a part of the upper completion and is operated by application of pressure through control line, which in turn opens the flapper in the TRSV, and allows to well to produce through the completion string. When required, TRSV along with hydraulic anchor and tie back seal nipple can be retrieved by application of hydraulic pressure in the annulus. Contact well care representative to see all liner hanger system options are available to meet your specific well domains and ensure successful installation.